Hi everyone, so God is saying that someone that you least expect or something that you least expect will be assigned to assist you, will be assigned to provide for you. That is why here when you read in the book of First Kings chapter 17, verse 2, the Bible says, Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Live here, turn eastward, and hide in the Kareth Ravai, east of the Jordan. You will drink from the brook, and I have directed the ravens to supply you with food. They, verse 6, the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. Some time later, the brook dried up because there had, they had, no, they had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Go at once, and Zarephath in the region of Sidon, and stay there. I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. So he went then, when verse 12 says, As surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied, I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little olive oil in a jug. I am gathering a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself and my son that we may eat and die. Hallelujah. So you could see here, God was talking to Elijah that I have assigned the ravens to feed you. Imagine the birds feeding a human being. I'm sure that he was not expecting such to be happening, but God is saying that he can use the unusual to supply for you. He can use the unusual to feed you. He can use the unusual to meet your needs. And then after the brook had dried up. The Bible says that God said to him that he has assigned a widow to provide for him. And then now when he got to this widow, he found that this widow was so poor. She had nothing. She only had a handful. But God still provided through her. God still made a way. She was still able to provide for him. And because God had assigned her to provide for him, it also meant that she never ran out of food. So God is also saying in your life, he's going to assign people whom you did not even expect. Yes, you were thinking that your help is going to come from certain people. It's going to come from a certain person. Some of you, you might even have been rejected by people. But God is saying that that's not where your provision is going to come from. Stop looking to them and looking to him and it's going to provide you with the right people who are going to provide for you. And some of these people might not even be picture perfect. They might not even have the resources that you are looking for from them. But God is going to enable them in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to cause a miracle to happen so that you can be taken care of, so that you can have the things that you desire in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.